Next and all new here at 6, a Pasco County couple lost everything they owned after a fire gutted their home on Christmas morning 2017. Four years later, they're running out of money and time to rebuild. I-Team investigator Jackie Calloway found they paid a local builder over $135,000, but their lawsuit claims the contractor did not do much for all that money. My God, look at this. Tragedy struck the Shaw family Christmas morning 2017. Matt Shaw and his fiance Joanne Morey lost what they could not replace and all they own when their house caught fire in the middle of the night. It took a long time to put the fire out and we lost everything. Notes from my mother and father, pictures from my parents. According to this contract, Matt and Joanne hired American Building Concepts in September 2019 to rebuild their house. The couple paid the builder $26,400 the day the agreement was signed. Then? Nothing. Nothing for a long time. Months and months and months went by. They kept blaming it on. They had another job. I checked Pasco County permit records and confirmed with a spokesperson the contractor did not pull a permit to build a new home on the site until January 2020. Between January and September of 2020, Matt wrote checks to American Building Concepts, Inc., totaling over $107,000. According to the invoice, this check for $100,000 included windows and trusses the couple says were never delivered and block walls that were not built. It just went on for almost a year. In all, Matt paid the builder over $135,000 and says he was left with only a concrete slab and footers. All they did is put this wall up around here, filled it with dirt that I paid for, and put this coating, the slab on top of it. This past July, two years after the original contract was signed, Matt and the contractor parted ways. American Building Concepts refunded the couple $20,607. Doug King is the chairman of the National Association of the Remodeling Industry. We asked King to look over the contract and other documents and give us his opinion as to whether or not the Shaws got what they paid for. But I still think that he's owed probably 65 to 75,000 more dollars in a refund. King based his opinion on the construction he could see, but in an answer to the breach of contract lawsuit Shaw and Morey filed in Pasco County, American Building Concepts said they were paid for a limited scope of work, which they did, and blamed additional costs on the multiple design changes they say the couple made. My greatest fear is not being able to finish this house and having no money and nowhere to live afterwards. Neither the company's president, Anna Small, nor her attorney answered our calls, texts, and emails. Let's fill it with dirt and make it part of the house. Meanwhile, Matt has hired a second builder who constructed these block walls, but now he and Joanne are running out of money. I can't sleep at night. My wife can't sleep at night. My stomach is in knots every single day. I spoke with Matt Shaw's attorney, Graydon Doe, earlier today. He tells me the case is in the investigative stage, and if it's not settled, it will likely go to trial later next year. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.